My coaching background um, started in uh, here at Norfolk State. Uh, I returned back to Norfolk in 2006 uh, from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore thinking that I was going to retire. And I came on campus and talked with the um, AD and he, he was talking a little bit about the program and uh, he asked if I'd like to try to get it off the ground for them. And I said, you know, a challenge is a challenge and that's when we started in 2006. Uh, and we came on board. We had one scholarship um, bowler and the rest were walk-ons. Um, we did uh, try to find some people from the bowling class and luckily um, my assistant coach was actually teaching that class. So he was able to evaluate some people in the class and ask them if they would come out and uh, bowl for us. And that's how we got started. But when we first started out, we were just desperate to have bodies. Uh, but as we progress, we're looking for that academic um, person first, and then that person that can actually bowl and contribute to the team. Because uh, it's not all about, we, we want kids in here that we're going to graduate, that we don't have to give uh, full scholarships to, that we can get actually get them academic money along with athletic money so that they can come to Norfolk State and won't have to pay uh, but a small amount. We started out with, um, like I said, you know, walk-on bowlers, uh, one scholarship athlete, and it's gone up to where now we have um, eight uh, athletes that are on scholarship, and we, on some form of aid, whether it be books or um, tuition, and that's where we progress. If we're going out, we're trying to get the elite athletes, so let's scholar athlete, um, let's, you know, bowling, you know, bowls every day, around the country, you know, that's what we're doing. We're e we've even got kids to, that's calling us now uh, from Puerto Rico, Brazil, um, all over the country, Florida, down in Florida, we're getting kids that are calling us instead of us going out um, looking for them, they're finding us. Over the next, I guess over the next two years, um, since we brought in um, six freshmen at the same time and they'll be going into their senior year next year, I would think that this year and next year we would we would have uh, a very prosperous year. Uh, maybe even get to the NCAA um, championship if um, you know we do well during the season. And I predict that we're going to do well during the season. The benefits of having an on-campus bowling center uh, is uh, they are tremendous. Um, we don't have to um, go off campus to bowl. We don't have to lose time. We're actually getting our uh, a lot of NCAA number of hours in on the bowling alley at this time because we're right on campus. The kids can walk over to the bowling center and then they can go to uh, the dining hall. I mean, so to have it on campus is just a tremendous help to us. And plus, we don't have to pay. We don't have to pay to go off campus, uh, which is a great asset. We don't have to rent vehicles to take them off uh, campus. So having a bowling alley right in the middle of campus is really, uh, you know, to our advantage. The advantage is of uh, being a scholar athlete, especially in bowling at North State University, is very diverse. We have a lot of activities on campus. We have uh, the honors program that we're a part of. They do um, community service work um, that we're a part of. They do the Spartan Youth Club. And also we have a brand new library that they can go uh, and study anytime they'd like to. Plus, um, as I said before and reiterate, we like to bring in the scholar athletes, so we want them to do everything that they have to do to succeed. And also, what we do with bowling is, like I said before, we wanted several schools that actually equip our, our kids with the uh, appropriate balls and shoes and uniforms. So that's something that we're really, really proud of. Um, and the girls, are that's one of our recruiting uh, points is that we do um, supply them with all the things, that, uh, everything that they absolutely need in order to be successful with bowling. And we have every, uh, we do tutoring, uh, we have a study hall, and everything that it would take for them to succeed in the classroom also.